Hi. In our Getting Started tutorial, we managed to get a robot to follow a curve using one of the tools in the catalog. Chances are pretty good that the tool you want isn't actually in the catalog though. So in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create a custom tool from some geometry that we've created in Rhino. I'm going to be using this pencil holder as an example. The first thing I'm going to do is come up to the HAL Robotics tab and find Create Tool. If you're ever in doubt, it's always a good idea to come to the last component you know you're going to need and try and work your way backwards. In this case, Create the Tool. I have here a frame that's required that says it's the body frame or the base frame of the tool where it's going to be attached to the robot. I've managed to model this at the origin, so that's actually just going to be the world XY plane. It then asks for a body. I'm going to select the meshes that I have here in Rhino and bring those into Grasshopper in the usual way. It also asks me for a mass and a tool frame or TCP. The tool frame that I have in the geometry here is this floating point. In a subsequent tutorial, we'll look at how to bring that in from a calibration data from your actual robot controller. I'm going to bring this point into Grasper, and the orientation actually happens to be the same xy plane of the world based at this point which is going to create my tool with the xy frame z pointing up x aligned with the x of my base frame once that's done I'm going to plug it back into the attached component as we did remembering to hide things as we go so we don't end up with extraneous information in our viewport. Once that's been attached, I can solve. And if I show our execution again, we should now be able to simulate the robot with that tool attached. Easy as that. 